Uh, meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., there's a major spike in violent crimes by juveniles. But the city's mayor and the attorney general there are at odds over how to fix it. The mayor accuses the AG of not doing enough to prosecute criminals, and the attorney general accusing the mayor of lack of leadership in preventing the crimes. So uh, what gives? Ted Williams with us, a former Washington, D.C. homicide detective, Fox's contributor, who knows the streets of the district very well. So, Ted, is, is the spate of crime by teenagers because of gangs? Is it uh, social factors, peer pressure? How come so many juveniles are turning to crime? Well, I think it's a combination of gang, uh, wanting to be involved with gangs, and also uh, because there's a void in the leadership uh, in the District of Columbia to arrest juveniles. We have what Eric I call the blame game. You hear you have the mayor, Muriel Bowser, accusing the attorney general, in essence, of being soft on crime. The attorney general is fined back at the uh, mayor, and uh, crime is running rampant in the District of Columbia. I don't know if you're cognizant of it, but or uh, carjackings alone in the District of Columbia up 153 percent from last year. Uh, it's a very dangerous and uh, concoction of what is taking place in the District of Columbia. And what type of, uh, you know, sentences are there? You've got that horrible carjacking of the Uber driver uh, last year in which a uh, then 13-year-old and a 15-year-old girl were involved, and, and they just got sentenced, the 14-year-old sentence for felony murder. Felony murder, if you're 14, you get out at 21 years old. So, uh, you know, do they see that as just kind of a slap on the wrist? They go to jail for a few years, even for murder? Uh, unfortunately, that is what is going on in the District of Columbia. But I got to tell you, Eric, this is going on all over the country. While you've got Bowser and Racine at each other's throats, if you just look out in Chicago, you've got Laurie Lightfoot and Kim Fox, the DA out there, at each other's throats. You look in New York, you've got a new mayor there, Eric Adams, who is trying to uh, prevent a lot of crimes. And you've got Al Bragg, who is very soft, the Manhattan DA, on crime. You go out to L.A., you've got Eric Garcetti, the mayor out there. And you've got a guy named George Gascon, the uh, prosecutor out of there. And the one common thread with all of these individuals are they are not on the same page. And because they are not on the same page, juvenile crime is running rampant in these va uh, major metropolitan cities. How do you stop it? You have grown-ups acting like grown-ups. What you have to have, Eric, is these grown-ups, these lawmakers, to sit down and talk to each other and stop talking around each other. Uh, as they talk around each other, crime, again, is running rampant, Eric. And it has uh, been increasing, sadly, and we're seeing the effects of that. Ted Williams, always good to see you, Ted. Thank you.